Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com. Stoked today, super stoked. I am showing you the AmeriCorps diver that I've been talking about for a while. I released AmeriCorps field watches last year. These are the divers that I've been working on and you will see them soon. There's two varieties to choose from, a blue one or a black. Blue, of course, right? So this video is gonna be an overview of the watches like my usual videos are. I will be following these videos or this video up with other videos. I spent a few days out in Fountain Hills, Arizona at a company called Fine Timepiece Solutions. They are bringing American watchmaking back to America. They are assembling these watches here in the USA. They are building these AmeriCorps movements here in the USA. So really cool, very excited. So. I'm actually wearing one of the first prototypes to come out of this. This is probably six, seven months old at this point. Um, but I can tell you, it's kind of like uh, like when you when you buy a car and they give you like a 15, like when a reviewer does a car and it's a 15,000 mile update. I've had this for like six months and I gotta say, I wear them often because grab and go is really good. I've never really shown them on camera, um, but I have two of them and they're still spot on Everything with them is awesome. The build quality is phenomenal. These are like really oh, awesome. Like I said, I was out there and they are building watches in clean rooms with the highest um, education of a, a, their chief technology officer. He's a watchmaker. Um, they have all these people, techs assembling watches, something else. Really impressive. Like I said, the, I'll have other videos on it. I'm also uh, sporting... Uh, one of my ISL 38s that I swapped for a, uh, a smooth bezel. I think it looks really, really good as opposed to the fluted. Anyway, let's check these out. So I present to you ISL 100 and 101. You know, we're up to like, well, we've released uh, as far as when I'm filming this uh, up to 132. We've numbered way out beyond that by now. But you can see where, you know, I assigned these numbers a while ago. So um, these have been in development production for a while. And obviously pandemic did not help things at all. If there's one thing I want you to um, get from this video. And it may not matter to you, especially if you're in another country. And there's maybe some Americans that don't care either. But I want you to know that these are being built in America, Fountain Hills, Arizona, in a facility that is employing local people, supporting the local economy. It's just a good thing. It's a, I know a lot of people really looking for more American products, so this is one of them. As I said, more videos will come out really focusing on the facility. I will have one whole build video on the Islander Quartz Diver. Um, they'll uh, probably do a movement video, maybe a capabilities video for the company. Lots of, lots of good stuff, but you're here for the watch right now. Um, so let's get on with the watch. So it is, it, oh, so obviously now, so let's, let's come back into our world, right? You immediately look at this and say, eh, Mark, it looks like an, a 007 case, sort of, and you will be correct. Did that on purpose for my first watch because I really wanted to maintain the ecosystem of the 007. So it's a 43 millimeter diameter case. It's 13 and a half thick to a flat sapphire crystal with AR on the underside. It is 46 millimeters on the lug tip to lug tip. Okay. It is a solid screw down case back. Now let us, I'm going to come in on the case back now. So at the top, we have the Islander logo and branding. To the left, Sapphire, and 200 meters of water resistance. To the right, the movement is AmeriCorps. I tell you the battery type that is in the watch. 370 or 371. So before you or a watchmaker or anyone else open it, you can check your drawer. Make sure you have the battery before you pop the seal on the watch. The part number on this one is ISL 100. We have an etching of the American flag and assembled in USA. A. Okay. Uh, the bracelet is 22 millimeter lug. It is a traditional three link bracelet, uh, brushed on the top, polished on the side. It is indeed sized with screws. It is a solid end link bracelet, flip lock deployant, three positions of micro adjust. Oh, what is that? Oh, an Islander logo on the flip lock. In case you can't get enough Islander, 
There it is twice. One, two. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Uh, 200 meters of water resistance. I said that. It says on the back. It says on the front. 170 grams. Just for reference, just so you know, a... Um, uh, a double, uh, an ISL-01, which is kind of the automatic version of the same watch, uh, weighs around 176, 177 grams. So it's a little bit lighter because it's quartz, but it's important to note that there is no plastic in the movement. The only plastic really that's in the watch is the um, well, dielectric, so the battery isn't short. Um, and then the, again, the movement spacer ring is plastic on a quartz watch, again, for electrostatic purposes. Um, price. 279 um let's get into the movement so the movement is an americourt 7122 with a day day and a date okay is a one joule movement battery operated as i said quartz oscillator theoretical life about three to four years accuracy of the movement rated at plus or minus 20 seconds per month i can tell you that since i've had these on my wrist um or in my watch chest or whatever and it's been this is the right time, by the way. These are set for video time. Um, it's been about six months, seven months I've had these, possibly. I can't say it's it's varied more than a few seconds. Of course, just like a financial disclaimer, your results may differ, but 20 minus, plus or minus 20 seconds a month I think is a very, very conservative estimate. So let's get into the 007-ness of it. It is a 007 case pretty much. Th Three o'clock crown with crown guards. Screw down crown, logoed, bezel, 120 click unidirectional ratcheting bezel. So as I mentioned in the beginning, I wanted to maintain the 007 ecosystem. And I have mostly, because it's a quartz movement, different movement, you can't maintain everything. So what is compatible from 007? You listening? Bezels, bezel inserts, crystals, bracelets. That's it. Not the crown, not the hands, not the dial. Uh, I won't even say the case back. Um, so you can still customize them because bezels and inserts are the biggest thing that people do and crystals and bracelets. So I wanted to keep those things and I thought it was great. I've seen these now with domed crystals. Um, uh, the people at FTS were just uh, futzing around and they showed me one with a dome crystal and I was like, wow, that looks amazing. But I wanted to, I wanted to stay flat in the beginning because I think that that's... Um, it's the best way to start off uh, with these real tool divers. A note on water resistance. We say 200 meters. Now, as you guys know, these are not ISO 6425 rated divers, but I will tell you that each and every Islander diver is tested to 200 meters. Not a representative sample like my other Islanders or like Orient Ray and Mako and Kamasu and all those. Each and every Islander Quartzy is tested to 200 meters and that's not 200 meters before they put the movement and stuff in because that's what a lot of manufacturers do they test the case before they put the movement in and then they open it then they put the movement in they're testing them fully assembled okay so the watch you see with the case back tightened the way you have yours the crown down everything this has all been tested to 200 meters your individual watch uh I've I watched the water resistance test. It'll be in another video. Uh, KG ran the Hormec machine where the test was done. Really, really cool. Like I said, these are real people doing it here in America. So, um, is that enough yapping? I think I went over everything. So this is the black dial. And the ISL 101. Of course, it says 101 on the case back. That's the only difference where the 100 was on that guy. Ah, this is a beautiful, beautiful sunburst blue dial. Okay. And a nice deep blue, not the same as my, uh, same as my C36 insert, it's kind of close. Um, nice deep blue ceramic loomed insert. Blue chapter ring. Oh my God, is that gorgeous? Let's, let's kind of move the hands. Should we go to 1010? Because that's what people like. And I will show you that AmeriCorps movement. Um, so screw down crown, pull it out two clicks to set the time, obviously the seconds hand. Stops, hacks, you know, uh, one click out to change the day and the date. Important to note that the day 
is only in one language because it's, it's a different configuration. The day wheel is going around here, not like a Seiko day wheel, which is a little more offset to the right. Um, let's see. I think that's about it for that one. You know, but let's just take a look. So rather than traditional 007 markers, I went with more of like a, I'm calling it the 173 vibe because um, it was a shame that they discontinued that watch. So these are squared off markers, okay? Larger ones at the 6 and 9. We still uh, ret retain a marker at the 3, which I thought was nice. Um, and then we have this, I'm calling them double trapezoids at the 12. Comes down really deep into the dial. Looks really, really cool. Um, let's look at the black one up close because we didn't before. So it is a very deep black, but it's not a glossy black. Like the blue is sunburst. This is not. This is a flat matte black. Um, I think I went over everything. C3 Super Loom on the hands, on the insert, on the dial. So let's check out the, you know, why, why check the, out the loom yet? Let's just go right to the wristy because I said, I'm, wow, well, I'm sporting one. And this is, it's a prototype, but it's the same exact watch. Just the case back it does not have, um, the Islander stuff on it. Like Mr. Rogers, I'm changing for you. Here we go. So below the bone above the bone oh man awesome like i said i have a blue and a black been wearing them very cozy grab and go quartz definitely belongs in everyone's collection and now you can do it in a diver that is assembled in the usa and uh fts certainly knows their loom beautiful right we got the hour the minutes the reverse lollipop ticking away even the logo is loomed the bezel insert beautiful 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 wonderful wonderful job and that's gonna wrap it up for me so right now um i had i did like i said i did the quartzy fields the isl 75 through 78 which are pretty much almost sold out at this point i've got these i have a bunch of these a lot a lot a lot um and then what's coming up after this you might ask a well, good question um Definitely, definitely working on a chronograph with them. I have already seen the prototypes, and I literally almost fell out of my seat because um, it was kind of surprised. It was they surprised me when I was out in Arizona. Um, he, <laughs> he Kunal did a great job. Uh, it really surprised me and Isaac. So I uh, will be releasing that. I would say later this year and many more watches to come from these great people. So as I have Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you the first Islander AmeriCorps diver. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. Questions or comments, put them down below and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.